So in this video, I just want to explain a little bit about how an automatic sprinkler system works because when I was first getting into this business, I really didn't know if people could install their own sprinkler systems because I didn't really have a good grasp of all the steps that needed to be taken to install it. And once I found out, it's really not that hard if you get the proper instructions. So in a nutshell, I just want to take you through a quick demonstration about how an automatic sprinkler system works and kind of the, the steps that you need to go through for uh, to install an automatic sprinkler system. So basically the first thing you want to do, if you want to think about it, is to start at the house. and basically that's where the water comes from. You were going to be tapping into a place where your outdoor service taps are with a house connection. So most houses you should be able to screw off the uh, lawn service tap and screw in our house connection. And basically from there the water is going to come and you're going to be able to have water access here but uh, all the time but you're also going to have access going down to uh, water your lawn. Now basically what's going to happen is you're going to attach a piece of pipe onto this piece here, clamp it on and then the water is going to go into the ground where, where the pipe is. Now from that pipe it's going to run from from the house from the house connect from the house to the house connection from the house connection down the pipe the pipe is going to run into the ground where it's going to be inside of a valve box I'm sure you've seen one of those before and basically what that does is it sits on top of the swivel manifold system now this is a swivel manifold system right here and it's already got some automatic valves attached and basically the pipe is going to run the pipe that ran into the ground from the house connection is going to meet up with uh, the swivel manifold system here and you're going to use a clamp as well you're going to put that on and then your water has access to all the different valves now each each one of these valves represents a zone of sprinkler so you don't want to have you don't you won't have enough water pressure to water your whole lawn at once unless you've got a really small lawn so you're gonna to have to water in different zones and each one of these valves represents a different zone so basically these are orbit um, automatic valves and you're gonna have two wires coming off of each of them and you're gonna take one wire from each valve and you're gonna wrap them together and then you're gonna connect that with the white wire from your multi-strand wire and that's gonna be your ground and you're gonna use one of these wire connectors waterproof wire connectors to spin those together and that's gonna be your ground now the other strands of the wire are going to go onto the other wires coming from the valve. So the leftover one that's not in the valve is going to connect to a strand of wire on here. So you're going to strip off the wire, you're going to connect it there. Now where this wire goes after it's connected to the uh, sprinkler valves, automatic sprinkler valves, is it's going to go to the timer. So you're going to have to be able to run wire to the location that you want your timer. So whether it's going to be in your basement or in your shed or in your garage, we just know where, where you want to have it so we can provide you with enough wire to run that. And you just put, you can put that underground or however you want to run it. And then the timer is going to be set up to trigger these automatic valves and that's what's going to be turning on your sprinklers and so the water is going to be regulated from these valves and it's going to go from here it's going to have a pipe running out to all the different sprinkler heads so when this valves running it'll it'll have a certain zone of sprinklers running and that's basically it for an automatic sprinkler system. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how an automatic sprinkler system works and to let you know that it's really not that complicated once you see how all the parts actually work together and kind of see that process map of how things happen.